you know, I feel good. I feel, you know, fresh. I mean, I'm, I'm excited to be in a group of nine right now because I'm getting extra reps in um, and being off the ice for, you know, two, three months, you know, it's uh, all the reps you can get is, uh, you know, pretty crucial. So uh, I think our group's done a great job, all nine of us. And, uh, you know, we're skating hard, we're working hard and uh, we're getting those extra reps and it's going to help us in the long run. Just one quick follow-up, uh, Johnny. How seriously did you take uh, your conditioning during this uh, this four-month pause? And and how? I guess we won't know till the games start. But how do, do you feel out there on the ice in these last four days? Yeah, I feel good. Um, I think you know the first week I got home, I bought a Peloton bike that was sent right to my house. A week and a half after going home, I didn't really know how long. I would be home for this uh this whole pandemic situation and then uh my dad and mom they love going on bike rides so our, our team sent, sent us rollerblades so uh we go on like 10 15 mile rollerblade rides and bike rides together and uh try to stay back to active as as best we could as you know with a little you know a bit of you know uh weights and stuff like that i had but thought i did a good job with keeping up to you know just exercising and doing little things Eating, eating right, I guess, and, and doing the right things away from the rink that, you know, you do most days. So I think uh, I did a pretty good job. Ryan, I see you're on Jermaine's camera there. Do you want to ask your question from there? Just, uh, John, how's it feel to be uh, back and up to speed and just the idea of, of kind of blocking out this noise? You know hockey's back when everybody's attacking and speculating, but uh, just bringing yourself up to speed and – and uh, you know, four days in and getting ready for some uh, some exhibition. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it's great to be back. Obviously, uh, you know, we have a, a pretty close group in our locker room, so um, you know, it's great to, to skate with some of the guys the a week ago when we first got back here. But now the groups are divided. I haven't seen a lot of the guys uh, in a while. But you know, um, it's great to be back. Really excited. You can tell all the guys are excited to be back and. The jump in practice and uh, in the weight room and stuff. Uh, you can see how excited the guys are to be back. Just to follow up, uh, does it bother you when you start to hear that outside outside speculation, or can you kind of block that out given everything? Yeah, I don't really listen to too much about that kind of stuff. Um, as long as you know myself, uh, you know I'm prepared and I'm ready to go when when uh, August first comes around. Uh, I know I will be. I've never had a problem ever being, you know, ready for the start of a, of a season or, or anything like that. So, um, you know, it was definitely the longest I think ever I've been off the ice. Um, even with, you know, summers and a lot of guys spend a lot of time off the ice, but I'm always on the ice, constantly skating, always on the ice, help my dad out the rink and stuff like that. So it's definitely difficult, but, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, these skates we've been having with just nine guys is, is definitely, uh, something I can, you know, kind of take advantage of. And uh, we're getting pushed pretty hard in those practices, which is great. And, you know, we're, we're getting catching up to game speed pretty quickly here with all those extra reps and stuff. John, yeah, we talked to a couple of your teammates in the last couple of days, or a couple of your line mates, I should say, in Monaghan and Lindholm. And, you know, it did go down the road of uh, last year and John said he was embarrassed by the way it all went down. How motivated and what's different about your game this year that makes you believe that, you can have a different result in the first uh, matchup against Winnipeg. Yeah. Um, I thought we were we came together well as a team throughout the year. Obviously, we started off pretty shaky and uh, had a lot of ups and downs throughout the season. Whether it was you know we we went we've been through a lot our team this season, so um, we kind of fought back throughout the season, got in a really good spot, and towards the end of the year, thought we were playing pretty well. So obviously, it's kind of a whole new season, kind of looking at it, you know, been away from each other for three, four months. So it's the same thing with most teams. So, um, you know, we're going to try to, you know, come together as a team really quickly, hopefully, and and, uh, and get off to the right foot there in, in Edmonton. Next question, guys. Johnny Eric here. Uh, thanks for doing this. Do you, do you see these playoffs as a real chance to – Prove yourself. Are, are playoffs generally, are they a proving ground for players? Is that the way you look at it? Um, I think, uh, you know, it brings, brings guys together, brings teammates together. I mean, you're playing for one of the most special trophies in, 
entire sports. So, um, you know, that's something that you don't get the chance to do every season and uh, make the most of it and try to, you know, help your teammates win each and every game, every shift you're on the ice and, and go from there. Uh, I'll, I'll sneak one more in there. Um, and you talked about the, the positives of being in a smaller group with a lot more reps and more, more skating. Um, are there any challenges that you foresee uh, um, coming up as well, not being able to do with your line mates for, it, seem, it looks like a full week now? Yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously missed those two. Um, I, got, I haven't gotten to see them too, too much since I've been here in Calgary, but you know, we've had, we've had a lot of, uh, you know, good chemistry together and I don't see, I don't see it being a problem not practicing for a week or a week and a half here together. I mean, uh, I played with them for, for Omani, I think most of my entire career, whether it's 10, 15, 20 games, I haven't played with them. So, I mean, I feel like I just pick up our sticks and we'd be fine together. And, and Lindy did a great job last season, you know, hopping on our line. So, um, I think we'll be fine, you know, a couple of practices and, you know, Get, get together a little bit and then we'll be fine and go from there. John, is that a, a man bun or a ponytail? What are we doing back there? Don't worry about it, Ryan. There hasn't been barber stops open in New Jersey. It's been terrible. I've been sitting at home for three, four months. I don't trust any of my, my, my niece is like four or five years old. She dyed her hair blue, so she wanted to dye my hair blue. And then it didn't come out blue. It just came out bleach and now it's yellow. And now I, I don't know what to do. So. It's been, it's been a while, three months at home. It's a good drill house. So I need a barbershop to open up, and I need to get out of this quarantine out of my condo soon so I can, you know, get a fresh cut. So you will not be keeping it? Yeah, no, no that's for sure. Thanks, John. Yeah.